right here. And this was supposed to be a better better video, but there was a little a little miscommunication with the cleaning lady, so she threw away what the stuff that I've been saving up to make the video. But the show's gotta go on, so I got a little bit in here to kind of show you what's going up here. But this right here, plastic bin, right? Now, when it comes to gardening, one thing that is crucial is healthy soil. And um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but the vast majority of the fertilizer in the world is not manufactured here in the United States. It's manufactured overseas in a hostile country. So there could be an issue with getting fertilizer in the upcoming years. But that doesn't mean you can stop there. You don't stop there. You still got to find your food. So you make your own. You make your own. Now, in here, I'm going to bring you in here a little bit closer. Okay, all right, so this right here, and this is not the best start. Again, I had a lot more stuff saved up for this video, but life happened. So the cleaning lady came, she thought it was trash, and she threw away all the compost that I had saved up. But anyway, so now if you look in here, and again, a lot of this is just, again, I'm starting this back up because... It, I lost everything, but that's all right. So we got a napkin there. Now the napkin was used to clean my face, but there's no solvents on it, and it's not greasy. So that's the main thing. You don't want it to be greasy. And then if you look over here, well, if you look out there, we got those palm trees out in the front of the house. Well, when the when the, we removed the palm fronds, you know, we have these these fanny leaf portions left, the ones that are like a fan. Well. That's important because the napkin and those leaves, those dry leaves there, along with stuff such as, um, you know, like if you're like pruning your trees and you have like those little wood trimmings, the, the, you know, like the little twigs and stuff, um, hard to find, but like black and white, not colored newspaper, but black and white newspaper, um, um, uh, cardboard. But you, you can't be waxed. You want to have it unwaxed. Now the cardboard you'd have to shred. And you can use stale cereal. You can use uh, the cereal boxes. You know, but all of, the, all of that stuff, that provides the carbon that is needed to produce the energy for your microorganisms to grow. So that's, and that's, that's half of the component of the compost pile. Um, a lot of websites they'll call this the, the brown the brown items you know the the, the brown list and so those are the ones that um, they produce the energy and the building blocks for your your micro your, you know your microorganisms to grow so that you can get you know, the nutrients in the soil now that's half of it the other half is what you know we most of us really know about when it, when or think about when it comes to compost so you know, you got your fruit, you know, fruit and vegetable trimmings. So, like, you know, we got some lettuce. You got a banana peel in there. And you got, you got your banana peel here. So we got a, uh, we got a banana peel. We got, you know, half-eaten apple. Um, there's some coffee grounds down there. And with the coffee grounds, you can just throw the, the whole coffee filter in there as well, because it'll actually, uh, it'll break down as well. Um, you put crushed eggshells in here. Cooked rice or pasta, you can throw that in there. Stale potato chips, um, seaweed, you know, any any of those. Um, I personally, I, I know that I've heard some people do it. I think my grandpa did it, but I don't really remember. But I do avoid anything like meats. Um, I don't, you know, I, I avoid meat and poultry products. I don't put those in there with the exception of the eggshells. So, and... Those items, those are used for your, to, those are the nitrogen rich items or what a lot of people call the green items. Huh, hint, you know, lettuce is green. Um, and those provide the proteins and the amino acids that the cells need for, for their growth. So, yeah, and then when I start my compost pile, I always put a bed of soil down first. I go buy some potting soil. You know, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, fancy. You can buy just dirt, but I do, I do buy it in a bag. You know, I go to like Lowe's or, or Walmart and I'll buy a bag of potting soil so that I can uh, get the bed down in there. Now, we're going to come back to this uh, later on because this is just the start. You know, we're going to, this is one of those videos that, you know, we see it here. We're going to come back and we're probably going to come back once a month 
and you know even if it's just as a short we're gonna we're gonna see you know the, the status of the compost pile because as this stuff breaks down <coughs> it's gonna form like a, a loam so we'll be able to use that as a as a soil in the upcoming months now it's gonna take a while for this to break down so this this compost might not be ready until next year but and it is still a small container but as it starts breaking down and building up I do plan on I do plan on finding somewhere over here as you can see you know I've been saving up some stuff over here but I do plan on on, on an area right over here to uh, actually build a compost pile you know and it'll be like a, a, a bin that we can put all that stuff in and it'll be easier to turn it and flip it I got a lot of the I got a lot of raw materials here I can use to build it. You know, I got some I got some cinder bricks, I got some wood, and so and I got I've got plenty of brown material here. Um, you know, I've got you know all these all these palm fronds, and you know to to go ahead and uh, get that built up. So yeah, so that's my little mini compost pile that I'm working on right now. Now um, this just goes to show you that even in the city, you know, you, you have options. You really do have options. Uh, some of the other things that I don't put in here, uh, grass clippings. Um, I've never liked putting grass clippings in there. Uh, I've just heard bad things about it. And you don't want to get like the wrong ones because if they're weeds and you put those clippings in there, then you're likely to put, you know, the weed seeds into your compost. And then, you know, some of those weeds are very aggressive and they'll actually take over your, take over whatever you're, you're, you're planting. So I try to avoid grass clippings. Um, again, like, like weeds are fine. If you are using like these palm fronds, you got to be careful because the the base of the palm leaves, the palm leaves, the stem there, just like everything else out here in this desert, it's got thorns to protect itself. So that's something to be mindful of. So, but I think that with a little bit of effort, you, know, you can build yourself a good compost pile. You can make yourself some good soil. It's going to be nitrogen and carbon rich, so that and then you can when you, when you plant your foods. This soil is going to act like a fertilizer because it's going to have all these raw nutrients that are just infused into the compost pile. And so you can, you know, you plant, you plant your food, and you, you know, you buy your, your pine soil, you know, you dig up your dirt. Although this dirt out here is terrible, I wouldn't use this dirt to plant anything. Um, not, the, you know, not, not like a, a garden aspect of it. But so you know, you buy your, you buy your garden soil, and then you put your compost over the top of it, and then, and then as you water it, the, the nutrients from your compost pile is going to soak in. Yeah, so that's that's how I, right now that's how I'm building my, my my starting compost pile. It's gonna be like a starter. Uh, eventually, when, when, this, when this bucket is full, you know, after this bucket is full and you know we've we've moved this around and we've gotten us a nice, good working base, then when I have the the full compost pile built, we'll transfer this over to there. We'll put this in the bottom, and then we'll start putting stuff on top of that. So um, this is, I mean, this is probably. I mean, we have a big family, so we'll go through a lot of eggshells, we'll go through a lot, I drink a lot of coffee, so we're going to, you know, we like, you know, a lot of the kids that eat bananas and apples and stuff, so we're going to go through the raw materials relatively quickly, so, you know, avocado, like, you know, the, the rind of the avocado, apples, oranges, lemons, all that stuff's going to go in here, and as it comes together, as we start getting it to break down, and it's starting to, you know, form that, form that nice, loamy soil mixture, then we'll move it over to the to the the permanent site, and then that and then we won't need this anymore because once I have a permanent compost pile built up, I'll be honest, I'll probably put it in the back somewhere where the city can't see because who knows they probably have a law against it, but it's crazy. But I'll find a, I'll find a good place to put a compost pile, and then as I start mixing that stuff up, you know we'll, we'll start having a really good base for uh, fertilizer. We'll be making our own fertilizer out of stuff. That once again, as I always talk about on my channel, that we throw away. So instead of throwing it away, we can use it to grow more food, which is going to save us money. So we're getting more out of our money that we're already spending, and we're going to be saving some money. Alone. So, and that, that's kind of why I like the compost pile because it's kind of like it's it's two things. I'm not throwing stuff away, which means that my trash cans won't be as full. And so that means, you know, I have more room for the stuff that we have to throw away, you know. And, and, but we can start making better use of the stuff that we don't need to throw away. But, all right, anyway. Anyway, uh, hope you like, hope you like this video. I hope you
you got some use out of it. <laughs> if this is your first time here, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. You know, and, or if it's your first time here, if you like this, um, I do other videos. I do a video every day. Uh, go ahead and please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and share it out to people you might, you know, say, hey, you know, check this guy out. He's pretty, you got crazy shirts on every day. But go ahead and give him a check out. Let's see what's going on. Um, if you don't come for these, if you come for the unboxings, hey, that's great too. You know, hopefully you like this one. Uh, all right. Keep prepping and you know you gotta keep you gotta keep your head straight because rough times are coming. Rough times are coming.